GOJ Chell Golden Horseshoe semifinal action. The St. Catharines Falcons back on the road after losing game two. Fort Erie tied the series at one apiece back on home ice Wednesday night. First period action of this one. It's a turnover out front of their own goal. Nathan Kelly with a point blank shot. Charlie Burns shuts it down. We stay scoreless in the first. Then Yorgi Tropsev into the high slot. He's going to get sent to the ice. Big time collision. That's going to draw a scrum out front of the St. Catharines goal. And that's going to send Fort Erie to the power play. On the ensuing power play, Mets looking to strike first at home. Bouncing puck in behind Hayden Jeffrey. Hunter Coley right there to bang it in. Coley has his third of the postseason. Meteors take a 1-0 lead. Now midway point of the first period, St. Catharines on the power play. Noah Reed, what a feed out front. Trayson DeWar taps it into the empty cage. And St. Catharines battles right back in the first period. We're all tied at one apiece. But Fort Erie now late stages of period one. Back to the man advantage. Liam Beamish getting hot at the right time for the Meteors. He wires it home. Beamish, his third goal of this series in game three. As Fort Erie retakes the lead, it's a 2-1 hockey game after 20. No scoring in period number two. Let's skip to the third frame. As it's dumped down into the zone, Blake Hall's first on it. He's going to feed Sam Tonelli, who buries it far side. Tonelli, a big-time goal for the Meteors. He's got his third of the postseason. And just like that, the Meteors have some big insurance. It's 3-1. Then things starting to get ugly in this one. Owen Penny off the faceoff is going to go right after Zach Mambella. He takes him to the ice as Trace into War hops in as well. Everybody grabs a partner in this scrum just inside the meteor zone as DeWar wants a piece of Penny. Keep your eye on the left side as Luke Galtieri and Zach Mizzy break out of this scrum. They're going to dance right in front of the meteor's bench. Galtieri, the former meteor, Mizzy, the former Falcon, dropping them along the Fort Erie bench. They're tied up as the linesmen come in to try and separate the two of them. That's not going to happen as Mizzy and Galtieri are going to drop them. Mizzy's going to get a couple of quality shots in. Galtieri gets one in as well as they're finally to the ice and separated. Things coming unhinged in period three in Fort Erie as Mizzy Hyping up the crowd as he heads off the ice. We remain 3-1 Meteors. Falcons couldn't capitalize on a nine-minute power play. Jaden Flora with under three to go is going to seal the deal into the empty net. Flora, his fourth goal in three postseason games for Fort Erie as a scrum's going to break out in the celebration on the near side. That puts Fort Erie up 4-1. to one. That would do it from the Leisureplex. Meteors storm back with two straight wins. They lead the best of seven series 2-1. Game four goes Friday back in St. Catharines. Meteors take game three here against St. Catharines. Final on a Wednesday night in Fort Erie. Four to one. Shaka Muntu with me. Shaka, what an effort from you guys coming back on home ice. Getting the 2-1 series lead. Just take me through the game plan coming into tonight. I mean, we had a big game on Monday. We just want to come here and uh, stick to the same game plan. And I think, that, I think uh, it worked out. You guys were up three to one. You had to kill off nine minutes of power play time with 11 minutes left to go in this third period. You were a massive, massive deal in that. Just take me through that unit. I mean, I've never seen a nine minute penalty. We were a bit, we were a bit stressed out, but uh, like I said, we stick to the game plan. The boys were blocking shots, clearing pucks, and uh, on the bench, the energy was amazing. So, uh, and Charlie Burns made some great saves too, so it all worked out. How did it feel to have your head coach, Nick Becero, back behind the bench for you guys tonight? I mean, it's huge. Um, he's a great coach, probably the best coach I've ever had. So having him behind the bench, uh, calling some plays was was uh, was a, was huge for us. How do we prepare reset here? Game game four of this series coming up Friday back in St. Catharines. You know they're going to come hard. Mm, yeah, they're going to come hard. So we got to come harder, and uh, I think it should be fine for us. Um, we got the momentum, and uh, yeah, we're going to make it. A, we're going to make it a win for sure. Rookie forward Jaden Flora with me. Jaden, not a lot of time in this 40 Erie lineup this year. Three playoff games, four goals for you. What's been clicking? I mean, the boys have been setting me up. Like, it's honestly just it's an easy job for me just to put in the net, and we're rolling right now, so that's what we got to do. 
Take me through it. It's a close game all game long. The third period, you guys get stung with a nine-minute penalty kill. How did you guys bounce back from that, and how did you kill it off? Well, look, like our penalty kill is best to none here. Um, nine-minute PK, boys in stress. Burns and Annette played unreal, and the boys just got it done, and simple as that. What's your favorite part so far about playing up for this 40-year Meteors team in big-time games? Oh, it's just it's just a crowd. Like we have the best fans in the whole Goge. Like they come with the making the most electric barn to play in. And then honestly, I look so forward to these games. It's the best time of my life.